Not only did McDonald's reintroduce a $1 menu, they brought along with it a $2 and a $3 menu. <laughs> In case you really need to distinguish between just how poor you are. Help me, I'm poor. No. Yeah, like if you're feeling like maybe uh, you had a couple extra bucks in your paycheck this week. Hey, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna hit up the two dollar menu. I'm poor, but I'm not one dollar poor. I can at least splurge for that two dollar move. Build whatever meal you want with favorites on the new one, two, three dollar menu from McDonald's. So we're headed to McDonald's today. We don't want to do all of it at once. Today, let's do the two dollar bacon McDouble. Procure as much bacon as humanly possible and hide it in as many locations as you can. Which is hilarious <laughs> to me. Yeah, dude. I, hilarious and exciting. Yeah. So get excited because this week we're trying a bunch of the new items that we haven't really had. Yeah. At McDonald's. First up, the bacon, dead pig, Duh. McDouble. Let's go. Hi, can I help you? Hi, can I have two of the bacon McDoubles, please? Anything else? No, thank you. First one, though, please. Yep, thanks. Yeah. Wow, do a little of these numbers. Yeah, like that Corey's stuff. filming. Whoa, what about one of these? Whoa. <laughs> All right, there go. <laughs> Is that good enough? Yeah, it was awesome. Shout out to Corey. Comment below, Corey, you're a better filmer than Sean below. <laughs> Ooh, this is actually a really exciting moment because this will be the first fast food bacon. Yep, you too. The first fast food bacon we've had since the Wendy's Baconator fiasco. This bacon is not crispy at all. No. You're on my bad side, Wendy's. Dude, so hoping for good things. Long day, light beer. Long day, light beer. Hi, thank you. Yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, you too. Thank you. Hi, honey, you. I had a long day. Well, honey. Here's a light beer. Miller Lite. Just for kids. <laughs> <laughs> that does not make sense. We're in the part of the north side of Chicago where like, it kind of feels like you're in the suburbs a little bit. Yeah. There's an Office Max, a Lane Bryant, a Bob's Furniture, an Old Navy. Anytime you're anywhere that has like a shopping center, I'm or, like, well, I'm out of the city. I made it out of the city. Or, cars or a windows. parking lot. Oh, right. With yeah. open spaces. It'd be a paradise to put up a fucking line. Yeah, that's, this does feel like we're not, I'm, am I in Toledo? Help! Two bacon McDoubles acquired, d jump cut. Nice. All right, so that looks like a actually pretty decent little McDoubles. Well, look at this bacon. Uh, that bacon looks at least, decent. At least it's crispy, dude. Yeah, right? I will say though, McDonald's beef always looks a little gray. Always looks a little gray, but. It tastes fantastic. Yeah, I try not, to, I try to avoid looking at any of my fast food beef as much as I can. Which is tough for and you because... our show, we kind of have right, to. Right, right, right. Like, it's kind of a bummer sometimes, but... Kind of. Get a job, Grouch. Is the McDouble getting smaller? Uh, I have to imagine. The way America works, I bet you it is. I haven't noticed it, but it certainly wouldn't surprise me. Hello, America. Oh, no. Oh, that's awesome. America, why am I getting so much smaller? Combined, we're holding $4. Bacon McDouble. Cheers. I really like it. I, good. I had a feeling you might, because you love the McDouble and bacon. <laughs> Can't lose. And the price jack up isn't too bad. Because what no. the McDouble ended up being like a buck thirty-nine recently. If you had a dollar on you, it wasn't enough. You had to go get some change and mm -hmm. stuff. So now you bring two bucks and get this. Mm -hmm. And then kick a guy and steal his change for the tax. Mm -hmm. So this is the very traditional, two patties, very thin, but American cheese, little tiny onions, ketchup and mustard, boom, bam, boom. I would've liked some more onions, but that's not the McDouble's fault. That's the prepare, mm -hmm. you know? Right. It's just the way it goes. Sometimes you get a little, sometimes you get a lot. Right. It's fast food, you gotta be used to that. You gotta be ready for that. I like this though. If you guys didn't see, recently for our comedy show, we bought everybody at the show McDonald's cheeseburgers. Can I get 40 cheeseburgers, please? <laughs> And did a live review. Out of five? Yeah, out of five. 3.6. 3.6. Well, still I, above average. The, the ketchup oh. to meat ratio is way off. See, mm -hmm. we need to have you on our show sometime. It was really fun watching people like have to eat that because they, they're like, fine. We even made one of the comics of the show, Patrick, eat it. And I'm pretty sure he's a vegetarian. <laughs> I'm a vegan and I was definitely forced to eat this. Okay, cool. Already violent. Yep, I'm sorry about that. Oh, yeah. You made him eat it? Extra five bucks in the stand-up check tonight. That's pretty funny. Yeah. And I brought a salad. I gave Mike Omling and the band, his wife, I had a salad in the bag. So funny. We ordered 40 cheeseburgers and 
Well, yeah, salad. you ordered the salad. I didn't bring it after because I was planning. On, I got really drunk that day, so sometimes it, some of us. You ordered one. It was like a dollar fifty for mm -hmm. it. Yeah, man. So far, we're off to a good start. I think with these. <clears throat> I mean, it's kind of a no-brainer. Right. But I'm, you know, we're still gonna review it. We're a food channel. This is our. This is what we need to do. It's our job. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I saw something. Yeah, lay it on me. A fun versus might be the bacon McDouble versus a Junior bacon cheeseburger from Wendy's. Yeah. They're both like at, the McDouble actually might be the same size now as a B, JBC because <clears throat> probably pretty similar and. Yeah, that's a good point. We should do that. The JBC has mayo on it. That's the very Wendy's like flavor yep, profile. It's got freaking mayo on it. Yep. This thing is tiny. Which is great. Should we do that? I think so. Out of five. Out of five sizzling frying pans. How many Ooh. sizzling frying pans do you have the bacon McDouble? Do you think they use a frying pan there? Oh, booger. Get it. Get him. I must. Oh, we Oh, oh, he's, he's eat eating it. Oh, no, he didn't eat it. Did he? He didn't Hold eat on, it. he's my, he's still holding it. Oh, he's looking around. We're not looking. We're not looking. looking. We're not looking. That's a no eat. Two bucks. Two bucks. So do take price into consideration. Oh, We're hitting absolutely. a value menu. I'm gonna go. That's a four in my book. That's really good. For two bucks, mm -hmm. it's pretty damn good. Yeah. I don't know why this number's jumping out to me. 3.75. Mm -hmm. um, it just seemed fair. like that would. That, sometimes you just eat something you're like that's like like a three and a half, three some five out mm -hmm. five. Like. Mm -hmm. I think would get two dollars and you want ba get it, get it, get yeah, it. No doubt. Go and get it. No doubt. After he yells his friend, we're gonna open up a pay package. Eat it, bitch. It's always good. We got the gun! <laughs> shout outs? Yeah, shout out some Patreon. We got a couple Patreons we do want to do a little shout out for. Jamie Redfield, well, that's an amazing person who donated some money to us. Yep. We're very thankful for that. Mary Fletcher, mm -hmm. also donated, also super awesome. Mm -hmm. And Rachel Garvin. Great names, great people. Three people, three donators, three awesome people who might win 75 bucks every single month. Yo, the crew it. is like mounting up. Mount up. Like the crew is coming to support. Tis a growing. Every time somebody does that we're that much closer to making this a real or like a reality of life like, right no kidding where we can like kick our bosses in the nuts and leave yeah if this was an eight-hour day you guys would never stop watching videos we did they would be on all day yeah, it'd be like right? it would literally be like diners drive-ins and dives every time right? you turn the TV on it's on <laughs> yeah no kidding oh sorry Oh, shot roulette. <laughs> There's another thing. What's this? <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, dude. Three Musketeers, your favorite. Thank you. Hi, Sean and Corey. The Three Musketeers are Sean's from Lisa. <laughs> Clink. Hi, Sean and Corey. Drink it, bitch. It's always drunk. <laughs> Lisa Clink. Dude, Dude. Okay, so that is like, oh, it's shot roulette. And it's got, I'm pretty sure, my cousin Brian when he grows up. I think that's going to be Show him. them. Brian was I, know, I think cover? this is about to be Brian McCarthy. Oh, Brian McCarthy. In I'm like sorry, uh, I'm sorry, I'm 10 sorry. years, 15 years, however long he's an yeah, adult. Lisa, thank you so much for sending this. Guys, here is the address to send us stuff to our UPS store. Packages go there. We open them on camera. Everybody has sent such straight up insane stuff, dude. Yeah, it's freaking awesome. Also, that would be great for a buzz show. We might be able to incorporate some shot roulette. That's a really good idea. And if not, then that's fine. I wonder too. if we can use that wheel too, or this wheel for that idea you had. Yeah, no babies. <laughs> Zero to three. Hey, so a four-year-old four can hop on and do some shot roulette. You as long as they're playing with orange juice, you dude. Sick monsters. Lisa, I love you to death, but if I eat <laughs> 18 full-size candy, uh, it's just you know what? I'm gonna do it. Yeah, he's a he's a man. I have I'm gonna have a dessert. Oh, those are big boys? They're full-size bars. Whoa. You know what, just to spite you, dude, I'm gonna eat a Three Musketeers bar to sign out this video. You're just spiting yourself. You're eating disgusting trash. I, this is how I actually really love eating candy bars, too. There's no <laughs> world where you do that. Send it, bitch, it's always good.